here's what we have, guys. Starting off with drop snatch, we have four sets of two at 70% of your snatch one rep max, based off your snatch max. Then we have split jerks, four sets of one at 70%, and then cleans from the floor, four sets of one at 75%. So just focusing on the technique. There's going to be a lot of discussion involved today with all the lifting before we get into it, okay? You should have your snatch grip on the bar. Now, bring your grip in an inch to two inches more narrow from wherever your snatch grip is. Anytime we're doing snatch assisting, assistance work, guys, you want to make your grip slightly more narrow. It's less strain on your, on your wrist and your shoulders, and you're in a stronger position to press the weight up. It's always better to do that anytime you're doing volume with overhead work. First movement we're going to do is a power drop snatch. On a power drop snatch, you're going to receive the bar in a three-quarter squat position, and then you're going to stand back up. There's no dropping into the bottom of a squat. So power drop snatch here. I'm going to dip drive, catch, stand up. Go into that three-quarter squat position. So I'm going to dip drive, press under the bar, catch, and stand up, okay? Anytime you're doing a movement like a jerk, or a drop snatch, any kind of jerk, guys, that's not an actual press, you wanna press yourself underneath the bar. Your legs and body throw the bar up off your body, then you're not pushing the bar up any higher, you're mainly pressing yourself underneath the weight. The bar will go a little higher, but think more driving yourself underneath the weight, okay? 